Welcome in to another edition of Game Changers. Pretty soon these will all be about Lionel Messi because everything in South Florida is about to be about number 10. He has arrived here in South Florida. I'm Mike Cuneo. Arriving on the desk today is Trish Christakis. Welcome to the show. Hey. Samantha Rivera in as always. And guys, let's talk about Messi because that's what we're expecting to see Exciting Sunday times. night at Drive Pink Stadium. Guys, I saw an ESPN headline that says, is Messi ready for Miami? Oof. And I think they got it wrong. I think it's the opposite. <laughs> Is Miami, Miami <laughs> ready for Messi? So I'd like to pose that question to you guys. What are you expecting come Sunday night? Well, Let's we were actually just talking about this yeah. offset. He was out to dinner last night or two nights ago in Miami with no security. No and it security. wasn't like this. He wasn't like swarmed that much. No. It was like the average. Like, here, send my jersey. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, maybe. Yeah. I don't know if people obviously maybe didn't know that he was going. So maybe that's why yeah. they were like, yeah, it's going to be chill, whatever. But I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see how everybody reacts. I think there has to be like a huge crowd. Obviously on Sunday, like mm -hmm. with the people that were expecting to be there, there's, you know, word going A lot of rumors. About. Yeah. Uh, Careful how know. you report that. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, Trish's husband is going to be there. Yeah, my husband, Bed Bunny. You okay, know, sure. if you guys didn't know, now you know. Yeah. Well, I, so here's the thing. Heard it here first. With, with, I think part of Messi even coming to Miami is like stars can come here and hide. Right, right. It's not, and not to like say we're, a cool city, but we're a cool city to the point where, like, we're a cool it, city. It we can say that. It, yeah. You know, it happens. People can kind of disappear here in kind of a good way. You know, yeah. it, it, people are very used to seeing the big name celebrities out here. So I think, you know, we've something Samantha and I've talked about a lot about the pressure for him. He's going to yes. feel. That's why I think it kind of drops a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he's not playing in those big stadiums, and I think people won't be as enamored or like in awe. But I think initially, there's going to be know. mayhem, <laughs> and I think Sunday is going to be crazy. You know. Inter Miami sent out, hey, season ticket holders, you want to be here. We're mm -hmm. hearing the rumors of the musical guests, including yes. Trisha's husband. <laughs> well, you know, Say it. Soon to be, name. maybe former husband. Uh, hey, no. <laughs> yeah, all of the above. Uh, I, yeah, I just think, I just think for him, it's going to be less pressure down here. Well, also, I think, okay, so maybe less pressure but in the same breath so on what was this tuesday i'm getting my days mixed up when he actually landed here yeah. um i met a guy at the stadium who started a group just for messi and it's just <laughs> messi supporters and he had mm -hmm. like thousands of people who already are in the group and i imagine it's just going to continue to grow Absolutely. so if he started a group strictly just for messi and there was yeah. like an abundance of people there they had these jerseys they call like the messiah like a play on words like messi and the messiah like he said the only thing he cares about is god and messi and he goes yeah. oh wait and my family. And I was like, <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> there you go. Look, the guy, Messi has, if you, this is Instagram, I think the other day I went on it, 478 million. Yeah. And like, there's, that's more people than I think Ronaldo has it, the most, though. Uh, that's overall. That's fine. But, yeah, Messi might be a close second. But like, but, like, that's more people that are in the United States. You know what well, I mean? Yeah, he's like, international. So it's not Same. surprising to me that these, like, fan groups are going to pop up and right. stuff. Um, what do you guys think about David Beckham showing up to the mural? I know a lot of people have made a big deal about the mural. It's very cool so down fun. in Winwood. Yeah. I mean, to see David Beckham and then, like, a Spice Girl just hanging out with him. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was incredible. I'm waiting for Messi to go. Yes, I think he will <laughs> at some point, honestly. No, I think it shows how much he cares about the team, how mm. much he cares about the community. Um, I think it was awesome to see him there. Yeah. I mean, how can you not be there? I mean, he's, like, the part of the sole reason yeah. why Messi came here. Yeah. You know, so to having this huge mural with his face on it. Yeah. You can't not show up. But I mean, right. I think it's great that he did. He was at practice um, yesterday. Was that when it was? Yeah, yesterday yeah. he was at practice. And I don't know, we thought we were going to see Messi there, but. <laughs> We didn't. We didn't. We didn't. To the surprise of kind of no one. <laughs> I, think, I think we will. I think, I, I think. look, this week has been a lot of fun trying to figure out where he's going to be. I know some people poked fun at, like, local TV stations being, Waldo, being, Messi? At, <laughs> being at airports. But this is this is what happens. When yeah. one of these guys shows up in town, there's, like, that five-second snippet of him walking <laughs> off the plane <laughs> with his family and people yeah. are going nuts. But, look. He landed. It was a little tongue-in-cheek for a little while here. Hey, we're gonna have an unveil with a big player. Can't yeah. say who it's gonna be. <laughs> we and, know. And we're gonna, we yeah, know and who just it's walked be. across the street from Fort Lauderdale exec over to Drive Pink Stadium. <laughs> and we all, everyone missed it. Yeah, everyone yeah. missed it. No one got it. They but did a good job. Hey, I was gonna it. say yes. If if Inter Miami is having to up security for all this stuff. Kudos, day one. Day which, one, you passed the test. Which, yeah. let's talk about that, because you would have thought, which, I mean, you know, maybe they're kind of the same. The president was there yesterday. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. you couldn't even leave your car to go to the gate to enter practice. Like, they were like, yeah. stay at your car until we give you the thumbs up. And then, obviously, like any 
sporting event here. You have to go through security to make sure, you know, you have no metal on you, et cetera. So that was normal, but compared to other practices that, you know, I've covered before Messi, it yeah. was like night and day. So I was like, wow. oh, he's definitely going to be here. I mean, this is, we have to wait at our car. They wouldn't even let us go inside to use a Russian, which look, wow. I get it. <laughs> I totally get it because, you know, they don't want to risk anything, but it's right. just, it's just a different world than what, yeah. We've seen these past couple of weeks that we've been doing it. We're still also waiting for official word that he's signed. He's right, so they, that it's not even official yet. So they've have they still have a finish line to cross in, in all of this. Yeah. So you know, look, South Florida chased away Peyton Manning one time. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to do it. You don't want to do it with Lionel Messi. Certainly not. All right, still to come, we've got the second half of Major League Baseball season coming hey. up. We're going to talk about the Marlins, what their chances are of actually making the postseason after the start to the season that they've already had. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back to Game Changers. Uh, these guys, the Marlins, getting ready to go back to work <laughs> after a nice little all-star break. Much deserved because they're right there at the top of the National League. Actually been playing like one of the better teams in Major League Baseball. Yes, sir. We know they're right there for a wild card catching the Atlanta Braves. Probably ain't going to happen for anybody, really, because mm. they're so far ahead. What are you guys looking forward to for the second half of the season? Anything or anyone with this team that you really want to see happen as they get closer to possibly clinching a playoff spot? I think it's just super exciting exciting watching Lewis arise first off the bat. Yes. I want to continue to watch him just kind of like soar because I feel like when you play well, like baseball is one of those sports where it's like so much more fun to watch, obviously with any sport, but like they get super into it. You can never get too high, get too yeah. low. And I think they just have like so many great personalities on the team too. Yeah. So like when they're playing hot, like it's, I don't know, I'm just continuing to see him Obviously, chasing history is a big thing, and I thought right. it was something cool he said at the All-Star, you know, festivities at Media Day was that players from other teams are coming up to him when they get when yeah. they get like a double or something. Yeah. they yeah. stop him on the base path like, "Hey, man, hit 400. Like, let's see, <laughs> let's yeah. see this happen." I mean, Ted Williams can't be the only guy right. who's done this. Samantha, what about yeah, you? Yeah, no, it's awesome. I think uh, Dane, the yeah. great Dane, Dane yeah. Myers. I think he's going to be a lot of fun to watch too. Obviously, a young guy coming in here and the start that he had. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was it was awesome to see him. Not so too well. big for him. Not too big for him. No, no. It, it was it was awesome. Um, but yeah, same with Luis. You know, obviously doing mm -hmm. as well as he has, and then what two pitches, two hits at the All Star game. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing to watch. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. He kind of lived up to the hype there. Uh, yeah. I think for me, it's it's got to be Sandy. Aside from Luis, because mm -hmm. obviously we want to see. But if Sandy Alcantara can get back to Cy Young level, or yeah. even. And like even 90% of what he was well, last staff, year. I mean, right? But, <laughs> yeah, but like uh, Jesus Lazardo has been like the guy so right. far, the most consistent guy. Yeah. All of them. Eleven quality starts, above and beyond the best on that team. But yeah. Sandy obviously has the talent to blow that out of the water. If he really gets rolling, then they have something cooking. And now you're like, do we think the Marlins are buyers at the trade deadline? Do mm. they start going out and getting getting more talent? I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's funny because when I was talking to, like, how mentioned, you mentioned earlier how they're, all the other players are trying to kind of, like, help them make history. Yeah. When I was talking to Nick Castellanos, who plays for the Phillies, who's a South Florida native, of course, he was like, it's honestly just really exciting watching the Marlins, mm -hmm. watching guys like, you know, the pitching staff and then Lewis, of course. Like, the other players want to see this team kind of, like, soar because this is, what, their best start since the 97, like, World Series yeah, year? Yeah, like, 97, 2003. Any year they basically won a World Series. Yeah, that, I yeah. mean, so, I don't know. We were making a joke in the sports department the other day. We were like, well, Careful. nope. <laughs> I know, actually. We, <laughs> we were like, no one take time off in October. Just leave it all open. Yeah. Um, which, you know, I'm not really superstitious when it comes to that. But there's something in South Florida this year because everyone – Everyone making is playing is making a run. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I think Samantha and I because I mean, <laughs> I, um, <laughs> it's because you guys because you guys showed up. We showed up when everything started going well. <laughs> I've been Sorry, battling Mike. for years for this stuff to happen. It's finally here. It's Mike finally happening. Mike goes on paternity leave. I mean, Gone Samantha four like, weeks and everything, listen, everything just goes hits, up, it goes, it goes up to the moon. By the way, you brought Nick Castellanos. The clip from the All-Star game when someone asked him his oh, favorite superhero and he said Scooby-Doo. I was a little, I was a little mad Scrappy-Doo wasn't, oh, wasn't oh, mentioned. Man. A little pup. Come on. Did you see his reaction? Someone was like, well, he's a superhero. He was like, he's a dog. Yeah, he, that talks. He talks. Yeah. He's like, duh. And the guy was like, oh, right. Yeah. What else do you need? What else do no, you mean? He's awesome. not wrong. No. But I have a quick question. Yes. 
If something's not broken, do you fix it? Because you mentioned about potentially mm. getting other guys here. Right. If they're already on this incredible run, do you try to change things up? Do you mess with the chemistry? Well, do you add like, to it? Because, I mean... You can add to it, but... So to play devil's advocate there, because they went on this run, and Jazz Chisholm wasn't there yet. Right. Mm -hmm. And then you saw what he brought once he was brought back to the lineup. Yeah. I mean, he hits a couple home runs, a couple big spots against the Red Sox. Like, I don't think it ever hurts to have... More talent. talent. I don't think it's yeah. like a basketball situation where it's like a chemistry thing. Yeah, I think you're just true. looking at depth. Like the Numbers. deeper your 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 pitching staff can go, the better. Yeah. The more options you have hitting, the better. Because Jazz in the lineup changes how people pitch to everybody, mm -hmm. right? Because if he's batting third or fourth, you, you then you approach Lewis different. You approach yeah. De La Cruz different. So, mm. so yeah, I don't. I, I think adding is only a positive in baseball. It's never gonna hurt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, can't. I agree. Wow. For once. That was weird. Wow. Did, I, did I just say I agree? Uh, clip it. <laughs> <laughs> right as it came out of my mouth, I was like, that doesn't sound right. Pin this to the gram. Pin this to the gram. All right, we still got so much more to talk about. Baseball made changes to the way they did their regular season. Now the NBA is making some changes. Coming up on Game Changers, let's talk about that midseason tournament that the NBA just unveiled. We'll be right back. We're back on Game Changers. The NBA changing the game a little bit. They're going to have a midseason tournament. A lot of people are on the fence about this. This is a little bit weird. Guys, I ask you first, do you like the idea? Did the NBA need it? Did the 82-game grind need something to kind of break it up? My question is why? Why do they need it? Or do they? I don't think so. Okay, so you were enjoying the the, the regular season format because I liked it. okay, here's my question: When did you when do you start caring about basketball? Because I think a lot of people don't really pay attention until after Christmas. Uh, that's a good point. That's a good point. Maybe it draws more like viewership in like in the mid season when it's maybe a little dry. The games so, matter more. Yeah. All of a sudden, the games matter. Okay. So it's what a money thing. I see that. I don't know. I. Oh, it's always a money thing. <laughs> it's, 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 yeah. it's a viewership it's a and a money thing. thing. I don't know if they necessarily needed it, but I, I understand your point. Like, it, mm -hmm. the games start to matter a little bit more. People start to watch more. I don't know. But then towards the end, we were talking about, like, I guess it, it adds a little more work to the guys. Like, do they want to grind a little harder, a little longer? Yeah. I don't know. So is, like, the scheduled rest days, the, yeah. you know, the load management, does that take a hit when mm -hmm. all of a sudden you're – I don't know if they're forced to care, but you're told, hey, you have to care about these this game in November yeah. on a Sunday afternoon. How are you going to get fans to care about that, though? Because, like, well, what, is that, I, what I think, does that I think, I think it's more – I think, for me, it's more for fans. Like, mm -hmm. you, you're going to have this opportunity to claim – some sort of trophy or banner for your team like hey we're the mid seat we get the midseason tournament championship think about yeah. it, soccer like soccer does this all the time where they have like these internet i mean gold cups going yeah, on right yeah. now yeah so there, there there are all of these things but i guess more of my point is like we saw baseball change up the, there's a pitch clock yeah there's no more shift the bags are bigger and it was a positive change for the game yeah. i right. think it, it's moving faster does this do you think break up the season a little bit I think to a certain extent, yes, but I I don't know. I just don't feel like it's necessary. Like, I was fine with it, you know, the way it was. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. You're like in the ain't broke, don't uh, fix exactly. it. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think we have to see how it p plays out, right? right? I think if it adds excitement, if it brings, you know, more fans there and it adds, mm -hmm. you know, maybe some... I don't know, like a little bit more of a push, but then does that take away from... What you're doing. What you're doing yeah. at the end of it? Because yeah. it's like, oh, well, we won this one. Doesn't You know, it's kind of like... Who's really, I don't know. And you have to see how it goes out. The first season is probably going to be a little wacky because the yeah. first year you do something new, except for yeah. it always kind of is all weird. It's like a learning curve almost. Yeah. But, like, but I think the way they changed baseball, it's been very seamless. Right. Yeah. For at least on the reporting side, it has been. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're, you're just, it's just more of a, of a rapid pace. I, to your guys' point, though, about did it need it, I think there will be teams like, let's say, the Miami Heat, who like to develop you know, the Max Struces of the world, the mm -hmm. Gabe Vincents throughout the season, integrating them into lineups. I think that's where teams will not like this yeah. because all of a sudden you have to play if you're in the final four you're playing these weird games that you're not necessarily developing your talent you might have but it could also on the other side of that argument prepare you for the playoffs like hey we're mm -hmm. having playoff type atmosphere games right in the middle of the season I don't know. It, it Will it go give that feel, though? Do you think they'll take it seriously? I mean, I guess that's a question that, for the players. That I, think, I, that I think is the ultimate question. Like, will yeah. they take it seriously? Because, I mean, 
Will fans take it seriously? It's not like it's I think like, the fans will. I just I wonder if it's the players. Probably for like a bragging rights situation, but sure. players likely won't because, I mean, that's not going to get them a... Right. Uh, you know, it doesn't get them a ring. It doesn't get them a ring. It doesn't, yeah. you know, help their chances of maybe getting like a con uh, you know, a fatter contract. But, I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know. Who, who's to say that it will or will not? I guess we'll figure out this season. But it feels... Uh, Interesting. Say it. Forced. I don't like change. Yeah. Say it, <laughs> it, yeah. it, it feels yeah, exactly. a little forced. It mm -hmm. does. I'm here for change. <laughs> hey, I'm not, I'm not against Basketball it. Basketball season, baseball season, even the hockey season to an extent are very long. They are. I'm all for things that break it up. I'm, I'm hmm. curious to see how it plays out. I'm not against it, nor am I super for it. I'm just kind of like, let's just see how the first season goes. And if it, you know, quickens up the speed, because that, you brought up a good point, which ugh, unfortunately I'm agreeing with Mike a lot today. Oh my God. Uh, the air. Um, <laughs> Come on, shower me with compliments. No, it's the one time you only get it. It, it does kind of slow down around that time. So yeah. I, I think we'll see how the pacing goes and if it makes a difference, then maybe. But I don't know how seriously the players will take it, mm -hmm. honestly. All right, you heard it here first. Trish and Samantha hate change. We'll uh, be next, <laughs> coming up next. <laughs> oh, what wow. a show, we're game changers. <laughs> we'll, we'll we're talking about, well, yeah, what's trending and trending roulette when we come back. <laughs> Back on Game Changers, first question here as we talk about some trending topics. What the heck are you guys wearing? <laughs> you act like you don't know. You don't yeah. have I one, don't, Mike. I don't know. I walked in the office today and you guys were walking around in these. Well, Smitha? <laughs> this is what cool people wear. No, uh, Marlon's PR uh, guy, John Eric, super cool guy, he brought these over for us. Um, he actually brought one for Mike, but Mike is ugly and didn't want to wear one. Yeah, so. Mike, why did you refuse to wear it? Yeah, I didn't get one. Are you anti-Goya? Did I, did I get one? I well, didn't get one. Do you, yes, you, you want to put mine on? I did not get oh, one. I've been you. here for two days, so I put you know. it on your desk. I, I didn't see it. Mentiroso. I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> we're, now bilingual, <laughs> we're now bilingual show here on Game Changers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's talk about some topics this week. I want to start with the home run derby. Mm. Okay, that was fun. It was okay. I'm glad you said that. Yeah. Are you guys in or out on this? Because I know some people are saying, "Hey, the home run derby is almost like the Pro Bowl now. Like it's mm. lost so, its luster." I just, dis <laughs> I disagree. Are you guys okay. still in on the home run derby? I, I love am. it. I think it's so fun to watch. Like these guys are just giving their all, and mm -hmm. like ever the crowds are going wild. I love it. I'm I also am, like super pro like bat flips and yes. like I love yeah. mm -hmm. when athletes show passion for the game. Mm -hmm. yep. Like if you hit a home run. Throw the bat. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Like I love it. Like yeah. pump your chest a little bit. Like so that's but that's also like so. I mean yeah, I'm pro. I'm pro. <laughs> pro. Uh, pro. <laughs> I'm pro for it. And, and the All Star game itself was also good. I just lost my pen. Um, the National League wins for the first time since 2012. 2012. Mm -hmm. 2012. Yeah, I think uh, baseball has done a lot of good things this year, and yeah. I think that actually continued and rolled on through the All Star break. So I'm happy to see where this is going. The Marlins are going to pick things back up here. Yeah. When does the show air? Friday. So later today. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah it'll be. It'll be. <laughs> Friday. Who are they put face again? Well, she figures that out. <laughs> We're going to say goodbye. Oh. Thanks for joining us oh, on guess. Game Changers. <laughs> for Trish, Samantha, I'm Mike. We'll see you next week.